Hello, my name is Teacher Jonah, and in this video, we're going to talk about should, would, and could. Now, these words can be very difficult for people who are learning English uh, because they're very similar and it's hard to find a very good explanation. So in the past, I have struggled. It means it's been difficult, it's been hard, it has not been easy for me to explain these words, but we're going to try. So let's go. We will start with the phrase shoulda, woulda, coulda, which means it would have been good, but it's too late. For example, if you see a nice house in a good neighborhood and there's a low price, okay, like during the 2008 housing crisis in America, if you see a nice house, a good price, and you have money and you can buy it, but you don't. And then the price of the houses go up, up, up. The price is two years later, it's doubled in price, it's too late. You say to your friend, oh, I could have bought that house in the past. Your friend says, it's too late, too bad. They would say, shoulda, woulda, coulda. That means, that's too late now, maybe next time, okay? Sometimes there is a next time, sometimes there is not. So when it comes to should, should comes from shall, okay? And should means that you do not have to. It's not a requirement, it's not a law, right? But it's a good idea. It is better to, right? So, for example, if you have to be at work at 9 a.m., okay, you can say you should wake up an hour and a half early. You should wake up at 7.30, right? You should wake up at 7.30 so you have enough time to get ready, take a shower, eat breakfast, and go to work, right? So you should wake up at 7.30 so you can be at work on time by 9 a.m. Now, should means it's better to. It's a good idea, okay? so. Could means, comes from can, means it's possible to, means you can do it, means you're able to do it. So you say, you should wake up at 7.30, so you have an hour and a half, but you could wake up at 8 a.m. and get 30 minutes more sleep. Means could means you can. Means it's possible. Means it's an option. It's a choice. What happens if you wake up at 8 a.m.? Then you have to rush. You have to hurry. You have to take a shower very fast. You might not have time for breakfast. If an emergency happens, like, you know, your, your parent is sick and they don't feel well, and, you know, you have to take them to the hospital or something, 
you might be late for work. So you could wake up at 8 a.m. You can, it's possible, but it's not a good idea because you might be late for work, right? Because you might not have time to eat breakfast, because you might have to go fast and rush and have stress, be stressed out. But you could wake up at 8, right? You know, everyone's tired sometimes and just want that 30 minutes more sleep. Okay, so that's should means it's better to, it's a good idea, but you don't have to, it's not a law. Could means can, able, it's possible, not always the best idea, okay? So that should, could, and would, last one, would comes from will, right? So, you you know, you could say, you could use it as a question, like, would you, would you get me a drink, okay? There's no, nothing in there, <laughs> okay? Would you get me a drink? Uh, would you buy me some water at the store, right? That's like, um, would you, is like, will you, like, will you do something for me? Okay, another way to use would is, is like, I would go to the store, but I don't have enough time. So it's like, Something that you you would do, but you're not going to do. It's like it's like you know if if you have to work, you could say, I would love to go to the cinema, the movies, but I can't. I would love to have dinner with you, but I'm too busy. Right? It means like would like to. Um, something like that's another way to say would. Um, so that's like, would you get me a drink? Like a question, would like to. Um, and another way to say would is, hmm, would you, that's basically it. And so would is different from could. So if I said, could you get me a drink? It means, can you? It means, is it possible? It means, you know, can you walk, right? Or are you like paralyzed? You can't move. You can only move your head, right? So if you are paralyzed, you can't move your hands, can only move your head, you can say, no, I could not get you a drink. I can't move, right? So that's could means, is it possible? Like if you say, could you drive me to work? Well, if you don't know how to drive, you don't have a driver's license, then you could not drive them, you know, legally, safely. Um, but would you drive me means, you know, please drive me. And then should you drive me to work? That is, is it a good idea? Like if you live really far away and I live here and the job's here and it's an hour to get me, an hour to get there, an hour to get to work, well, no, you shouldn't drive me because it's in the wrong direction. Could you drive me? Yes, you could. You have a driver's license, you know how to drive, but it's not a good idea, right? Could, should, and would. All right, 
you like this video, please give it a like, write a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to hear in the next video. Thank you, Teacher Jonah.